AutoCAD 2009 introduced the new interface system known as the Ribbon. Since then, each release has made it even better. It moves from tab to tab much more quickly now than it did when it was first introduced. This is good. The Ribbon is your main source of commands and drawing tools. It groups similar commands together. It also groups the commands by workflow, meaning that the commands in a tab or panel are often executed in a series. The Ribbon, which is right here. By default, it is stationary at the top of your screen. It's made up of tabs. We have Home tab, Insert, Annotate, Layout, etc. The main tab is your Home tab. This tab has several different commands in it that are used regardless of your design industry or project. These commands are also amongst the most commonly used. In each tab has a panel. This is the Draw panel, Modify, Layers, Annotation, etc. The panels contain the commands and tools that you will use. Panels, like the tabs, are grouped by similar commands. For example, the Draw panel, here on the left, has the commands in it that you need to use to draw lines, polylines, circles of different types, arcs, etc. If you're creating new content or new line work, you're probably going to use one of the commands in the Draw panel. Similarly, the Annotation panel has text in it. You can draw multi-line text, single-line text, dimensions, leaders, etc. To switch between tabs, click the tab that you want to work in. Insert, Annotate. This brings up the different panels for that tab group. To start a command, you just go to the panel with the command on it that you want and click the command and start drawing. And there's a dimension. If you aren't sure which command icon is for which command, just hover over it. You see that? A tooltip balloon will come up and it will show you a bit of information about the command. First it will tell you the name and a brief description. If you stay there and let it sit for a few more moments, even more information about that command will come up. These are default settings, so if someone else installed this for you, they may have turned that off. And you may find them annoying, and you may want to turn them off. That's up to you. I'll show you how to do that very quickly. Open up your Options Windows. In previous sections, we went over to the Application menu, clicked on Options. You can do that all you want, or you can just type in OP on the command line and press Enter. This will also bring up the Options window. Now your tooltips and your rollover tooltips are display features. So you want to go to the Display tab in your Options, and it's in this Windows Elements section, and it's right here. You can show the tooltips, and you can show the rollover tooltips. The rollover tooltips are the real quick ones. Those are the ones that come up nearly immediately, and they tell you the name of the command with a very short, brief description of what it does. Now, the tooltips are the ones that pop up later and go into great depth, and then sometimes they'll even show a brief animation of how it works. You can delay that by a lot of different settings. You can show them, or you can tell it to wait 2 seconds or 10 seconds, etc. It's up to you. When you want it, you want it fast. You don't want to sit there for 10 seconds. So keeping it at about two or three is a good idea. And if you don't want them at all, just turn it off. When you're done, click OK. And if you've turned them off, but find, hey, that might be useful, I want to try it out for a while, you can go back and turn it back on. Not a problem. Now some of the panels in the ribbon collapse, meaning that they shrink, so as to give us more room on the screen. Like here in the Annotate tab, in the text panel, we see that it has an arrow, a down arrow, right here. Same with these dimensions, but not with the leaders. This gives you more commands, more options. It does this to save space. As you can see here in the dimensions, there are a lot more commands that are available. And sometimes, too, you'll see it in the commands themselves. That means there are options available to you. Click it, and a list will come down and show you. Now this is the case in a lot of different panels. 
like the draw panel, or the modify, or the layers. The commands you're going to use in the layers panel the most are shown up here. The ones you're going to want to use, but not all the time, will be down here. Same thing with modify and with draw. So if you see that arrow, click it. That means there's more options available. It just opens up a different flyout panel. And some of these commands, like the circle, have their own flyout. Just like the panels do, so do the commands. These are all circle commands, but they will draw the circle in many different ways. We'll talk about it in that section later. This will draw a circle from the center to the radius. This will draw a circle based on its center and diameter, based on two points, three points, two tangent points in a radius, or three tangent points. You'll find that this is true in a lot of different other commands. Some of these flyouts have different commands in them, like a fillet, chamfer, or a blend tool, or a trim or extend, etc. Some of them will populate it with a big long list, like in the layers here. So that's how you get to any of your commands in the ribbon. You find what you want, you click it directly, or maybe there's a flyout, and then you just click it, and you start your command. There's a circle that we just drew with two points. If you're not finding exactly what you're looking for, but you really know that the circle options should be around here, click an arrow. That will bring up more options that you can choose from. Same thing with the commands and with the panels. Now you can reposition your ribbon, or you can make some changes to the way it looks. You can do that up here. This is your minimize button. Right now you can minimize it to just the tabs. That saves a lot of space. Now all of your commands are still there. You just have to click the home tab to see them. Then you have everything here. As you go about your business, it slowly disappears. Same thing with annotate. And here they are. That saves you a lot of screen space. Now if you know where your commands are, you're very comfortable with a ribbon, then this is a great way to go. But if you're not so sure where the commands are yet, you may want to keep it expanded out. But you have a few more options. You can minimize just to the panel titles. So that, oh, okay, here's annotate. Oh yeah, text, dimensions, leaders, etc. I can get to those. That saves me some space, but it also lets me know what's in that ribbon tab or I can minimize it to the panel buttons themselves. So you get a visual display of the draw panel with all of the commands here. It's up to you. I can click on this button here to cycle through everything. Or just to return it back to normal. It's up to you. I like working this way because it helps me to know where everything is, and I'm going to leave it on this setting for the remainder of this video. That way you can see where everything is. It's less confusing that way, and it's much more visual. But again, set AutoCAD to work the way you want to, and you can always put it back later.